Government shutdown 2023. Will Social Security checks stop now that the government has reached its debt ceiling? What will their plan of action be? I've got a very shocking video right here in this video for you. I'm telling you, you are not wanting to miss this video. Hey, what is up you two? Welcome back to another show. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Today we get to announce the winners of the Amazon gift card. Yes, the winners today will be announced towards the end of the video. We've got some very, very exciting news for you today. Some things that have got so many people worried about what's going to happen with Social Security. Now that the debt ceiling has actually been reached, they're not giving out any more money. They're not raising it anymore. So what are they going to do? In fact, Joe Manchin has been a huge part in this, which yes, I've got some shocking news for you. A video that is loaded with this information to explain what is actually going on that we'll watch here in just a second. But before we do that, I want to thank you so much for watching. To all of our new subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family. Yes, to become part of the family, you'll get a chance to win an Amazon gift card like two subscribers will today. Yes, I've got that news at the end of the video, but with all that being said, let's dive on the screen to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Government shutdown 2023. Will Social Security payments stop now that the debt ceiling has been reached? This video here that you see on the screen is what we'll be watching here in just a second. The U.S. reached its debt ceiling on January 19th. Wow. That's been a few months. The Treasury Department announced on Thursday, January 19th, that they actually will take huge extraordinary measures to find out, to shift things on how to get the bills paid. Yes, Janet Yellen says there's going to be a lot of moves and a lot of gifts here and a lot of gifts there, but unfortunately, some bills are just to, are just going to have to go unpaid. Unfortunately, that's kind of where we're at right now and not meaning that it's going to be Social Security, not meaning that it's going to be those on a fixed income or Medicare, but just meaning some people are not going to get paid just so we can make sure that we take care of our seniors, those on disabled able to fix income. I mean, those on Medicare, they really need some help. And the last thing we need to do is cut that off. So I've got this video here for you. So let's take a watch. Welcome back. A shaky economic outlook, a gloomy housing market, and a never-ending debt ceiling debate. You'd be forgiven for thinking we're back here in 2011, but we're not. And the brink uh, brinkmanship has returned. However, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin back in the headlines. He looks to be seeking a deal with the GOP over spending, which puts him at squarely the odds with the White House. Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman has the story. Rick. Right. So uh, we're, we're going to be having another twist in this debt ceiling um, farce, is what I call it, just about every day for the next four or five months. Uh, and nothing is going to get resolved until we're right up to the deadline, which will probably come around uh, mid-June or early June. But here's the, here's the twist du jour. Uh, Joe Manchin, the moderate uh, from moderate Democrat from West Virginia, says, hey, here's how we can address uh, the spending issues that Republicans are raising. Let's form a commission that is going to figure out what we should do about the reality that Social Security and Medi Medicare eventually are going to run short of money. Um, now, Republicans in the House are not going to buy this because they don't want a commission. I mean, when you, when you really just want to put off an issue forever in Washington, what you do is you form a commission. Uh, the, the way these work is uh, Congress would then vote on the commission's finding. It, it would be all, it either be an up or down. You'd vote on all the committee's recommendations. Uh, one way or the other, you can't modify them. We've seen this before. It, the, the, the Congress never adopts these measures. Um, so this is, you know, one of probably what are going to be dozens or hundreds of ideas for what to do about uh, the debt ceiling impasse. But we're not going to get an increase in the borrowing limit again until the last minute um, because uh, the small group of House Republicans for whom this is a do or die issue want to go to the mat on this when they think they'll have maximum leverage. Yeah, just in this morning as well, uh, the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has addressed another letter here to Kevin McCarthy, um, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, saying that because of uh, the back and forth here that you were just laying out, Rick, that they're going to be un unable to fully invest in the portion of the Civil Service Retirement and Disability Fund um, required to pay beneficiaries and that a debt issuance suspension period is going to begin today, Thursday, January 19th, and going to last through June right. 5th. 
of this year as well. So what that what she's saying in plain English is um, we have hit the federal borrowing limit. So mm -hmm. um, the federal government now cannot borrow any more money in total. Um, it can issue new debt as it re uh, as old debt matures, but the total amount of borrowing cannot go above where it is right now. So. Uh, if the Treasury Department were not able to basically move money around and come up with some extra cash to pay bills, uh, that means that some of the bills uh, would, some of the government's bills would simply go unpaid. And we will get to that point, but we've got, let's call it four to five months here where the Treasury can move money around. And assuming this does get resolved at the end and the borrowing limit goes up, and there's no catastrophic um, consequences, then the Treasury will be able to replenish, kind of repair all these things. Uh, but, you know, for the meanwhile, we're going to, for about four months, we're going to go through an exercise in madness, which is uh, how close do we want to come to the U.S. government can't pay its bills. I'm telling you, it was some shocking news, not really understanding what their move's going to be. I hate how they wait to the last minute to decide, hey, maybe we should do this or maybe we should do that. Why are they waiting to the last minute to decide, oh, now we got to fix it. Now we got to move some things around. Now we actually got to put a plan in place. Why aren't they already suggesting some plans that is not only going to boost Social Security, but also boost Medicare, help them out, give them more money, find a better solution for them instead of waiting to say, well, you know what? Either we pay them or they're not going to get any checks. That is not good at all. I'm telling you, uh, I, I hate it because a government shutdown is at the possibility of happening and they still do not have a resolution for Social Security checks for those on Medicare. So with these major banks crashing, closing, other people are losing money like crazy. What's going to happen to those on a fixed income? Yes, that is a lot of news that people are worried about, but we're going to stay on top of it for you. We're going to make sure to do the research to keep you updated on everything that is going on. I, I know you guys have been told already. You've probably already seen it. There was a drone that attacked our U.S. citizens. Yes, U.S. Americans in another country, they attacked them. And I'm telling you, I'm hoping we do not go into a world, world three, but we will do more research. If you like to hear more on that, we'll do the research. Let me know down in the comments below and we will bring you that news. Now, the moment that you've been waiting for, yes, every Friday, we want to give away some Amazon gift cards. All you have to do is send me your cash app and I will send you the money. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to be changing the amounts here and there. I've been drawing amounts my own self out of a little jar that I have and whatever I draw out, that's the amount that I'm going to give. So what I draw this time was $15 gift cards. So what I'm going to do is to these lucky winners right here on the screen. Yes, Doris Donnelly. She said, I really could use an Amazon gift card. I can't even five $25 for food for the next two weeks. I'm tired of not having enough money every month. Well, guess what? You're getting a $15 gift card today from True Life Investing. Congratulations. Please send me your cash app. Our next winner on the list is Antonio Miller. Yes, congratulations. You are the second winner for the Amazon gift card. I joined the family. I hope for my Amazon gift card. Yes, you've won. Send me your cash app and I will send you a $15 cash app money so you can do whatever you want to do with it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We couldn't do it without you. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We're super excited about what is happening on this channel. Please let us know if there's any news that you would like to see and we would do the research. Thank you again so much for watching. Remember to be safe, stay warm, stay sanitized, and until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace!